guys, uh, today we'll be building a nice uh, rotor swapped Miata. Start with a base car in this blue color. Looks kind of metallic, but I don't think it is. We might just stay with this color too. Planning to put a rotor swap in a um, some fat wheels, wide body kit. See what we'll come up with. It's one of the probably my favorite cards, cars in Forza Horizon 4. And it's the engine swaps you have, the body kits and everything. You can build a pretty interesting car if you want to. But we'll just go for the basic stuff first. Let's get the suspension sorted out. We'll go for the drift kit. Let's put extra lows. Port anti roll bars, dump a cage in there, strip it out as much as we can. Sports brakes, kind of like to stare on the um, clutch, we'll just max all of that out, might as well. And then we'll go for the swaps, start off with the and swap. Got an inline six. That's probably a K20. On the swap. Pretty interesting swap I have in my other Mark One. It's good fun. Um, V8. Nah. Rally. Nah. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of power in here. I think I'm just gonna have that unmodified. Put a rocket bunny kit, but we'll. Play around with it a little bit, swap the front bumper to catch wary, that's the one. Spoiler wise, uh, racing beat does look quite good. Nah, that's a bit too much, too much. Yeah, I like the fat look of the racing beat. Rear bumper wise. Yeah, might as well go racing beat. Bonner, it's only one choice, so we'll stick with her. Engine wise, it's nothing to do, is it? Mm, interesting. Well, mine, I'll go rotor and then we'll see. Wheels, okay, have a look. None of that rubbish. See, I quite like these rotor from stuff, and they look pretty cool on it. Different color, probably. Yeah, that's a proper fat boy look. Mm, let's see what else is around. These are all the big boy wheels, we don't want any of that on the Mark 1. Let's see from the tuner style. I like the super advanced. Something about them. Maybe not for Mark 1, but. No, no, no. Oh, what else? I don't even recall seeing it. But F1 racing. Yeah, that's no. Do you like these? But I wish they had a bit more dish. So if you go on white body, you want to have some extra dish in These look kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these. Size so are 14, so I'm gonna put, go up to 15. Oh, shoes. No, you know what? I'm gonna stay with 14s. Just for extra shits and giggles. 265 tire on the Mark 1, yeah. Okay, we'll stick with the 265. Some fancy. Where's the horizon rubber? I think I changed my mind about the engine swapping you know? It's too much power, it's just gonna see what the restrictor play does. Puts it up to 700. Yeah, it's just gonna be all over the place with the engine. I think for my just stick with the <coughs> 
stock engine just pump it up a little bit. Kinda like my Mark wants to be around 400 mark. It's not really maxing out this, isn't it? T90. Let's change a few things. Put those down. Support pistons, just max it. Cooling and flywheel out. Spar separation goes, what do we go for? Um, single turbo, supercharge. Oh, let's just go for supercharge. I think that's gonna get us to the power I want. Set at one around 400. Go higher. There you go, 399. I think we'll stare on that. Install that setup. See what that drives like. Keep in mind, I'm not a tuner, I don't really mess around with too much, but I want this drift. So, I'll pump up the rear pressure just so it's a bit. Leave that assist, assist. Lock the diff. That's fine. So how the paint work? See, I quite like this color, blue one. Hmm. To be fair, any color looks good. This black is proper nice. So does why. What I'm gonna go with to save the V-sensed fashion. Let's go bright orange, that looks pretty sick. Wheels. Hmm. To be fair, all of them look pretty decent. Do you something silly like that? Hmm, white's, white's a very safe color for that, isn't it? What do we have in there? I call there being some nice polished semi gloss. Come on, I go for semi gloss. I'll you know that looks alright. Well, obviously, full tints. No questions about that. These sheep are getting on my nerves. You got a pop of vinyl on. Always a bit sense. Slap. I think I shared this in the in the store, so you should be able to find if you wanna grab the same recent slap. It's pretty much a replica of the actual slap we have for sale. So put the stripes on. See, any any time I work on that on that Mark One, I, I just I just do made them look the same way my one looked. Something about. It. Wait, what? How, how, how big did I make the vinyl? 33. Keep in mind, don't make paint jobs that often, so. Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So that's, that looks about right. Yep, slap the end there. Load the units. How big does that need to be? A little bit too small. Yeah, around 13. That looks good. 
Actually, there was a way to copy over. Probably just missed. Oh well. We're in it now. That's it. And from bumper. Put my typical master. Oh, I know. I see D. It's also gonna be funny on this bumper, but who cares? It will work. Be just a little bit. That should be meant. Cool. Save to the car. Come on. Let's have a look at the car. Yeah, that that does look amazing. Do love the fat wheels on these. Kinda glad to stay with the 14s. Even these even the even the fitment on this looks alright, which is very unusual for Forza, but I would like to go a bit lower on the rear, but I think that's as low as the drift suspension goes. She's a beach. Cool. Let's take it for a quick spin. It's nothing before the supercharge. What if it's gonna be much of a drifter? Probably not. See the thing is in real life, 400 horsepower with a supercharge on Mark 1, you'd you'd be all over the place. Because of all the cars in Forza with thousands of horsepower, 400 horsepower car just feels slow. Because whenever I build a car, I kind of think this is what I would like it to be like in real life. If I had unlimited money, it does understand a little bit, but yeah, that, that is slow, but. See how it drifts once we go to the Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh, fuck that. Get wrecked complete. Cost is. Yeah, see, it, feel, it, feels, it feels slow. Come on, slide. I think my tires might be too grippy or something. Let's go to the city, see what's up. It might be a bit, a bit better on our roads. See, that, it does slide once you, once you get it going. But yeah, for it to be a drifter, you need more power. Or bad tuning skills so you can actually pimp it up so it does skid. Maybe put 60 psi in the rear tires or something. That, that feels slow, you know. Feeling going back and installing the rotary. In. Yeah, let's go and install the rotary for shits and giggles. Let's see what's up. It's gonna be 690 horsepower, so I think I'm just gonna leave it as this. It's trace. Mental, I did it back in Forza Horizon 2, I think, the last time I had the swap. Get the 
this does does want to slide. Yes, that's more like it. It's a bit unpredictable because it feels like it wants to spin up to your level of certainty. Feel right, right now during the lockdown. Should be fun to skin in real life. Yes. Let's go to the code. Drift, drift loops. See what's up in those. I need to get what the what's it called Fortune Island. That's supposed to have some good drift roads. No more camera angle. That's just the way I prefer to play. Seems like a lot of people actually dislike this. Most of the time I play on my wheel, and this angle seems to work the best. No, it's not bad. It drifts alright, but it's one of those cars that you gotta get used to. mind that it's absolutely zero tuning on it. Well I then putting up the pressures in the rear. That scream doesn't it? Could be a speed zone sideways. Yes. Nearly up the road. Have a look at the car in this tree. Turn my silly camera a lot. Angle off. Oop. Bus lane. Perfect place to stop. You know what? That looks, that looks really good. That color is a good choice. Oop. Ignore my horn. Oh no. Listen to the engine. I don't know what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a four rotor swap. So no, they, they put a US spec Miata in Horizon 4, which is based in UK. Fuck off here. Which is based in UK. choice and you know it's the crowd I'll be initially once started playing this game I was so upset about it bought my S2000 in here right after buying I realized that it's left hand drive it's genuinely upset I think the new one they put in the, was the 2003 pre facelift version that is actually right hand drive Little things like that that kind of get to you. No, it's a good fun car. Let's see how I fail and just drift up. Mind you, I'm not, I'm not a massive. I mean, I'm not amazing in this drifting part. You have arrived at your destination. That's all right. 
I'm sure one of my personal best was 147. Anyway. Yeah guys, this, this is a good fun build. If you any of you interested in playing with us, sometimes host meets on Forza. Join our Discord channel, I'll put the link in the description. Or join our Facebook group. It's a private group. Let you call Beast Dance it. Submit a question and I'll approve you. Would you organize random Forza Horizon meets lately now during this lockdown? Everyone's at home. Not really much to do. Join on, play with us if you want to. Just do random trips around and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you like this. I don't usually make gaming videos. But I try to do some just to keep myself busy doing the lockdown. Anyway, see you next time. Might be another Forza build. Might be some Street legal racing builds. Keep in mind I haven't touched the game for years. But we'll see. Anyway, goodbye.